Hi guys, welcome back to Webjeda. So yesterday I got a comment uh, from Moit saying we are directly using load function to call the APIs. When do we use SvelteKit endpoints? Uh, what he's talking about is SvelteKit has uh, APIs uh, that we can uh, use. Uh, but what we are doing here is we are directly uh, fetching content uh, in the load function itself. So instead of doing this, we should be using uh, an API which calls this and gets the data. So it makes sense. I had no idea of doing this, but I think since we ha have done, you know, we have come this far, uh, we can actually do it without much of a hassle, I think. So let's try that. Now the app works uh, fine. I mean, it uh, gets everything uh, as usual, um, but this can be done through, um, you know, uh, SwellKit API. Now in routes, so the first one is uh, getting all the posts. So in routes, what I can do is uh, I can add uh, an API directory instead of a file, I'll do a folder called API. And then inside API, I'll make a folder called posts.json. Now this one, this uh, will have a get function, export bounce get. Uh, so it has to be a JS, JSON.js. That is why uh, its syntax is not highlighting. Okay. Now, uh, once that is done, uh, we have to return. We'll return. Uh, for now, I'm not handling errors here. Nowhere, actually. So I recommend you handle that. In body, we'll uh, send the posts. Now here, we make that request const response or I will just get that from here this entire line now this should uh, get everything now here I can do uh, it has to be an asynchronous function and then I wait start response.json now this will get us uh, all the posts so just to check I'll go here and do posts.json and it says, okay, so there is an API uh, folder as well, right? Yes, so we got it. Okay, now uh, what I have to do here is instead of hitting this uh, resource directly, I will hit the SvelteKit API. I'll do, uh, I think, slash API slash posts dot JSON, right? Now with this, our app should work uh, as it was before in the home page, at least. Yep, it is working. So if I change something, let's say API to AP or something, now it should throw an error. Yeah. Right, it is working. All right. Now, uh, this is one endpoint that we converted it. Now there is one more, which is a single blog post. So it does something like this. So in order to keep it consistent, I'll also create a folder called blog here. And then inside we have ID in the, in the blog folder, we have ID and so I'll create a very similar ID dot JSON dot JS. Right here also, it will also have a, a get function. Now, since we are getting the ID, we need the request because the request is what will have that um, ID in it. And we return, um, we return a status of 200 and we return the body, but uh, we're not sure what yet. Um, let's go to ID here. What are we, okay. So this is what we are hitting. We'll get this or we'll get the entire thing put it here now here page.params is uh, not what we get here i think it's it has to be request uh, because request will have all that i can actually show it i think uh, press dot I'll just uh, 
complete this. It has to be an asynchronous function as well. Let's see if we get uh, uh, this id, request.parameter.id in our response. So I have to check this uh, in, a, in our uh, server. Let me refresh. Uh, I don't want to see it. Okay, so we are not making this request yet. So let's go to blog here. We'll change this to uh, slash blog slash uh, id remains same dot json. Okay, let's see uh, what we get. We are actually getting it. Uh, in the response okay it's gone looks like we are not getting any response zero let's see why that is uh, id.json slash blog oh, okay api i'm missing api here okay yes we got it now here if you look at the request this is the request we logged out in this api here id is request.params.id so that's what that's what we are getting all right so if it is like two it will be two right that's uh, i don't know i mistyped one sorry slash it should be two yeah. so that's that's working as expected now um here we got rid of that and everything works as usual uh, now let's go to uh, authors so I will have another directory in API uh, called authors and inside oh, this is for consistency you can call it anything uh, author id dot json dot js so what's happening here is you know we are get, trying to get this so uh, it will have a very similar thing, so I'll just copy paste what we have in id.json and author.json uh, and then uh, we'll change this. Yeah, so this we need, uh, both the lines we need. Let's remove the console, let's add these and remove the console from here as well. Okay. Now in authors, however, uh, instead of page, we need a request. That would be the ID. All right, uh, this should uh, get it from this resource. Now here, what we are supposed to do is we remove this. I will use slash API slash authors slash um, we'll add ID here because ID is what we are passing dot JSON is enough i think yeah let's see um this should uh, work let me try when we click on this yeah we are getting it so everything uh, works as before now this is how you implement um you know uh, swellkit apis so this is quite easy once you um, got everything working and uh thanks mohit for the question uh, i think this answers it uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.